All right, Phil, the floor is yours. Great. Thanks, Jim. Oh, well, hello, everybody. Welcome to the May 2021 general meeting of the Mike and Key uh, Amateur Radio Club here. And we're going to go ahead and start with uh, some officer reports here. I have nothing to report as the president, but I know Steve, but I know Steve KD7IQL has some new members for us. So first thing, we do have a quorum. So um, we can, uh, if you'd like, you can go ahead and um, go for approval of the past month's uh, general meeting minutes. And uh, then I can go ahead and present the uh, club members. In seven, RHE, I so moved. All right, is there a second? This is Jason, KJ7GLB, second. Okay, we got a motion and a second. Uh, all in favor? Uh, only the members should all be voting. Members, yeah. We'll give a couple more seconds. And we will share the results. It's a yes, 41 yes. people. Minutes from the uh, last uh, general meeting as published in the relay are approved. And we do have a quorum. So uh, go ahead, uh, go ahead, Steve. All right, so I have got three members. Uh, I apologize for last month. I was out visiting Monica in Wyoming. So um, didn't have a chance to uh, do the vice president stuff last month. So uh, we've got Paul. Uh, AI7 Golf. Um, Charlie. Charlie, thank you. I was blanking on. <laughs> um, Paul, uh, would you like to tell us about yourself? Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Paul Thomas, and um, I'm not entirely sure what it is that you'd like to know since I'm new to this process, but I'll just tell you I was first licensed in the late 70s. It was mostly active on CW. I had a 20 year hiatus of being involved with other things, including restoring old wood boat. And I've now become active again. I like, it, I operate entirely in CW. And I have by way of resume to show that I am one of you folks. I got this nice little memory keyer the other day. And the very first thing I did was tear it apart, to figure out how I could modify it so that it would actually do what I wanted to do. So. I am one of your one of your own, and if you have any particular questions, I'd be happy to answer them. So, a couple of things here is that uh, you've um, clicked that you've got a desire to um, help out with field day, and you're also interested in the swap meet. Uh, Mike Dinkelman will be very happy to see you on the bluff because mm -hmm. uh, he is our big CW operator. So, uh, any other questions from the floor? Okay, I'm hearing nothing. We'll move on to the next one. And Ted, uh, KJ7SCA, um, would you like to tell us about yourself? And certainly, good morning, everyone. Pleasure to join in a meeting again this month. Now, my name is Ted Schmidt. I live in SeaTac, Washington, just east of the airport. And I just got my technician license six months ago. Been checking out a couple of the clubs in the region. And I'm also active in our local church and with the Civil Air Patrol. So Mike and Key's daily net at 7.30 p.m. is the one that fit best in my schedule, in the, at least in the second part of the week. So looked into your guys' club more and would like to participate. Uh, my day job is working in an ambulance dispatch center. I've been in the ambulance business for over 40 years. First 10 years as an EMT out on the ambulances, and now over 30 years in dispatch. I'm generally interested in just learning more about the ham radio activities and going for my general license, hopefully sometime in the next year. And I'm interested in public 
service events. I've done a lot of special events for uh, AMR over the years. I am physically disabled, but and I'm still recovering from a leg injury from last summer, but hopefully by summer or so, I'll be a little more mobile than I am at the moment. So just really interested in joining in the club and learning a lot more. Okay. Um, Ted is also interested in attending field day, uh, public service, as he mentions, parade, seafarer, and marathon and walks. Uh, any other questions from the membership at large? Okay. And um, I got one a question. Yes, go, um, go ahead. Do, are, are you set up with uh, radio equipment at home and you listen a lot, I suppose. You said you checked into the, the nightly um, um, social nets. You, you have yeah. aspirations to get on, continue your education and get HF equipment and HF capabilities? Um, yeah, in the future. Right now, I'm just trying to do one step at a time. Right now, I just have a, a Balfang portable UVR, UV5R hooked up to a magma antenna out on my back deck. Um, so... First thing is just get more practice time in and get a better radio. And then eventually, uh, like I say, study for my general and go from there. Okay, the third one that I have is Tim, W7, echo, echo, echo. Um, so a little things I've got on Tim here, uh, interested in field day, attend, operate, set up, clean up. Uh, interested in education training and also membership. Uh, interested in picnics, uh, public service events, put down parade and seafare. Tim, do you have anything you'd like to tell us about yourself? Um, sure. I um, uh, met uh, Manfred um, up at uh, during 7QP two weeks ago today up at Blue It Pass. Um, and Manfred had told me about how he found out about blew it pass through the club and it occurred to me that there i'm sure there are a lot of resources that the club has and information that the club has and things i can learn from the club that i i um have have not been a member have heard about the club over the years and just thought it would be great to be a, a part of it uh, certainly very interested in the field day operation um you know, I, I'm busy this field day, but next next year, I'm certainly very excited about participating in field day. I'm a CW operator, as you can tell from my call sign, um, it focuses on CW, um, a member of CW Ops, and, I, um, and, a, and a, an advisor for CW Academy for a basic class. So I sort of help other people learn CW. Um, and um, find, find it to be very gratifying work and really would like to be part of the group. So, Mike, I, I don't know. You've got two people that are CW operators. I mean, I, I don't know what you're going to do. Go down to the bluff with Mike Dinkelman. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on. All right. I mean, the beach, not the bluff. The <laughs> <laughs> beach. All right. Um, so, Jim, could you move them both? Uh, could you move all three of them? Uh, oh, to I, I have a stage here really Go quick. ahead. Yes. Sorry. Um, are we, uh, did we need to vote in Siobhan as well? Yes, so there are two more, Steve, uh, that had been pre-approved by the board, not at the last meeting, but at previous meetings. So oh, all right, okay. And there is uh, right. Siobhan and uh, Norm, two, two more. Okay, I do not have their information. So Siobhan, uh, would you like to tell us about yourself? Thank you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Siobhan Verkale, KJ7USZ. Um, I first, had experience with a CB radio. My grandfather used to have CB radios in his car and he used to talk with his buddies and uh, they would communicate where all the hot fishing spots were. And when I was tired of being on the beach, I'd go sit on the car and play with the radio and get in trouble. <laughs> and then my grandfather allowed me to talk on the CB radio with his friends, but he had to be there. <laughs> So I have some fun memories. Um, I got my license about 
Oh, it hasn't been two months yet. Um, I studied really hard. I did my technician, general, and then extra. I cannot wait <laughs> to get on HF. I ordered an HF radio about 45 days ago, the FT991A, because some of my Elmers have that radio and they said they could help me with it. But there was a, a fire in Japan and the chips were burnt. So the FT, uh, the Yesu radios on back order. And I have two of them on order. I have one for my mobile, a, a 350, or I think it was at the 400 and then the HF radio, which is the 991A. So I cannot wait to get started. Um, I'm also licensed with Glark. I have done about a dozen VE sessions. And uh, always uh, I got to be room lead and I got to tell the candidates that they could contact me on qrz.com if they need any help or assistance. And I've had a couple people reach out to me. So I've got to be an Elma already. They've come over to my home. I've helped them purchase radios. And most importantly, where I didn't have help is I've been able to program different radios. <laughs> so I've really enjoyed that part. Um, I'm hosting a few nets. I have a net tonight at 9 p.m. over at the PSRG. And on Monday morning uh, at 9 a.m. at the PSRG. And then Sundays at 11 at Lake Washington Ham Club. And I have a couple coming up with Mike and Key as well. <laughs> so I'm super excited. Um, what else can I tell you? Um, oh, I am teaching some technician license right now to my kiddos They're at the University of Washington. So I put together really good lesson plans because they are super smart kids and they'll just make fun of me if I don't do it well. So they all want their technician license. So mom put together lesson plans <laughs> and that has been fun. And uh, I think that's it. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you very much. And I believe Norm is the other one that was been approved. Is that correct, Manford? Okay. Anybody, anybody else any with questions? questions? For Siobhan? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Any other questions for Siobhan? Siobhan, yeah. thanks for everything you I do with the uh, net hosting. It's going to be wonderful. Thank I looked you. on your QRZ.com page. Uh, <clears throat> are you going to go uh, nautical mobile for field day? Oh, <laughs> that would be amazing. That would actually be a good way to go. I have so many um, ideas, you know, camping, um, even hosting things out back there in my backyard would be awesome, awesome to do. <laughs> um, or, or, or yeah, yeah, get out on the water. That would be fun. <laughs> I have a question also for Siobhan. I... Terrific. I, I, I'm amazed at all the stuff you're doing uh, in two months. <laughs> uh, fabulous. But what do you do in your spare time? All right. <laughs> I work. <laughs> what, what kind of work do you do? Oh, okay. So pre-pandemic, um, I'm a licensed massage uh, therapist working with doctors, uh, injury work, auto accidents, work injuries, and then also as working in spas, doing spa treatments. And then during the pandemic, I started a uh, business which is in the survival industry. I have some partners. And so it's everything survival related. Um, and my website is going to go live soon. <laughs> it's, I've been pulling out my hair, trying to get it finished. Um, so more to come on that. <laughs> okay, great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And K, uh, K7TBI, Norm, would you like to tell us about yourself? Yeah, you can hear me okay? Yes. Okay, so um, first of all, I'm really impressed with this group. Um, very, very um, nice group and very friendly. And um, I like all the, the technical aspects of it too. So I'm excited to become a member of it. Um, I've been a ham since 1962. Um, I was first licensed and at, at the age of, I guess, 13. And then when I was 16, I got the FCC first phone license. And then I, 
I worked in Alaska as a radio man, uh, fixing uh, the radios on the fishing boats and stuff. And then, and then I went to school and I worked at, um, I became an engineer. I worked at Boeing for 30 years. I was uh, engineer of the year and technical fellow and stuff, but then I retired and I've got my own company now. So I, I do consulting, but as far as ham radio goes, I've been involved in, uh, you know, of course, CW, I really like that. And I, and I had a CWQSO with W70EE a while back. Um, and uh, amateur TV, um, I, was, I was involved in that quite a bit, but now I'm on the other side of the bluff here in Ballard and I can't hit that, uh, that repeater anymore. And, um, uh, teletypes, um, did a lot of tele with actual teletype machines, which I always thought was pretty amazing. And um, lately I've, I've become pretty interested in the satellite um, amateur radio stuff. And so I've got these antennas that track the satellites and that's, that's exciting just to watch the antennas go across the sky and track the satellites. And then this, this is the, um, the uh, Viroplex bug I bought with my paper out money when I was like 13 or 12. Anyway, that's about all I can say about what I've been doing. Nice. All right. Any other questions for Norm? We're, we're, <clears throat> we're going to have a crowded CW beach when we get that back there again, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. You're going to need another tent, Mike. You're going to have lots of CW people down there. That's why we give you two transmitters at field day. <laughs> I think they need a bigger boat. <laughs> All right. Um, Jim, you want to move uh, people to the... Um, to the waiting room or to whatever we've got. Yeah, so I will um, move all of our prospective members in into a waiting room and we will vote on you and bring you back. Uh, KF7LAN, uh, you have marked that you're a prospective. We still need to vote you in um, to the uh, review by the board. So let me move those people into the waiting room. Hang on. Uh, this is not slow. Put into the waiting room. Wish I could just mark all and move to the waiting room. OK, they are all in the waiting room. All right, let's go ahead and start with uh, Paul. Sorry, here, I'm trying to move things around. Uh, AI7GC. Uh, any comments or anything like that before we go ahead and vote Paul? I'm not hearing anything. Jim? I guess we've already told everybody about field day, so. Yeah, I, I think we I think we have. <laughs> I don't have to ask. So only uh, full full members, please vote yes or no. This is for Paul. This is for Paul. Okay, five, four, three, two, one, and we have. 43 people. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, next on my list is uh, Ted KJ7SCA. Uh, any comments about Ted? He's been active on the nightly nets and uh, really nice guy seems to know his stuff. I think he'd make a great addition. He's a rail fan like uh, I am, I notice. Uh, yeah, I did notice that also. It appears that way. All right. 
Jim. Okay, let me relaunch. Okay, give you five, four, three, two, one. And we had 39 that voted that time. Yes. It's good. Yeah, it is good. Uh, Tim, W7EEE. -E -E. Um, I looked up his QRZ page when we had the board meeting. I was impressed with the QRZ page and Manford worked with him, uh, ran into him, obvious at Blue Pass. Um, just from what I see in Manford, you've got a lot more information than we've got, but uh, great guy from what I can see. Yes, uh, meeting meeting up with him and and uh, and uh, Mark uh, W six IA uh, who came up from California. That was actually the highlight of my uh, entire QP trip. <laughs> A lot of fun, and uh, we we discovered beforehand that. Uh, uh, we both had signed up for Blue Pass, so, so when I arrived, you know, they stopped transmitting, let me operate for a little while, and uh, had a great time, and, and uh, Tim made a great cup of coffee uh, uh, that kept me going all day long, so that was wonderful, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very glad that he's joining uh, the club, uh, very, very nice uh, person, and, uh, and um, great asset to us. All right, Jim. How could you tell the difference between W7EEE -E -E and W7S. <laughs> <laughs> you can. <laughs> okay, go ahead and vote for Tim W7EEE. -E -E. Very envious call sign. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe. Uh, Mark, you might have a point there. I wonder if he keeps getting asked if that's a one by one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <clears throat> All righty, five, four, three, two, one. And Tim is in, 41 uh, votes. Okay, so I don't have Siobhan's call off. Uh, Siobhan is... Whiskey she, Juliet 7, uniform Sierra Z Zulu. Yes, and oh my God, with her energy, I, I think we're in trouble. <laughs> In a very short period of time, she's done a lot. So she has a really impressive QRZ page. If you, I would direct that she's had quite a quite a great history. So did she get a vanity call? I don't have what. Well, it's kilo, kilo, not whiskey. Oh, yeah, I was gonna. I was gonna. Seven, uniform Sierra Zulu. Okay, I was gonna say I had another. Okay. Other than she can't We're spell good. Siobhan, I think she'd be a great addition to. <laughs> Also, do we need a masseuse at the field day? Oh, God, yes. <laughs> Her and I have been trying to meet up this last week to do like intensive work and stuff like that, too. So, yeah. So, she seems, she seems great and been running a bunch of nets all over the place. So, yeah. 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 Very good addition to the club. Yeah. All right. Jim. All righty. Let's get to voting. And she was she does so many things so quickly. She's already paid, by the way. <laughs> I, I, I am not surprised. Five, no, four, not, not with yeah. three, two, one, and forty-two yes votes. Okay, and last one is Norm. And Mike, you're going to be, I mean, I don't know what we're going to do, Mike. You've got three people that are, are CW operators. Okay. Hey, it's the best. Give Siobhan 15 minutes. She'll learn it too. Yeah. Probably. So, um, again, Norm, I mean, you know, yeah, we've got a good batch of people coming in. So, yeah. Any other comments about Norm? Machinist. Yeah. Dean, now I can see you when you talk. I it, the 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 little tiny square. I couldn't know. I couldn't recognize you before. All right. So. 
So All right. I'm, a, I'm in a library, so there you go. I, I'm lucky we can do anything here. Yeah. All righty. We'll get the voting going here. Good to see you, Dean. Okay. Vote often. Five, four, three, two, one. And we had 41 that voted. So, yes. All right. And Jim, if you can bring them back in. All righty. Let's bring them all in. One more. Dean just raised the speed limit to speed CW Beach. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Congratulations, everybody. You are now Mike and key members. Uh, one quick thing from the treasurer, please uh, go up to the Mike and key website, go to members and you can pay online via PayPal or square up. And for Siobhan, never mind. Thank you. <laughs> uh, but everybody else, please go and uh, pay your first dues. Congrats everybody for Mike and Key. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. You still accept checks in the mail, Craig? Yes, we still yes, do checks do. too. Okay. And even Did that funny green stuff, reading? not in the mail. Oh no, no. Oh, how many it. members do we have now? Um Jim, I think you probably have a better number than I've got. It is, let me scroll down, two hundred and fifty-three. Right. And that and then I'll um add in the members today, so we're 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 getting close to the two sixty mark. Cool. Hey. All right, Phil, back to you. All right, thanks, Steve, and uh, congratulations to all the new members. Glad to have you on board. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Awesome, and just let me know any volunteer hours you need or donations or whatever. I guess I could read all about that on your website or? Uh, yep, so you can find all that and more at our website, mikeandkey.org. Thank and you, If Phil. you have questions, feel free to reach out to any of the board members. Yeah. Very good. And real quick, someone asked me in the chat uh, why I spell my name the way I do. <laughs> and um, my Siobhan is spelled S-I-O-B-H-A-N. Um, and that's the original spelling. And my mom heard the name and had no idea how to spell it. So she literally made up the spelling of my name. <laughs> and uh, yeah, thanks, mom. <laughs> I thought it was just a, a French style of naming. Right through college, uh, school and college, and for the rest of my life, every time I say my name over the phone, I have to spell it out. <laughs> I would love Jen or something, you know. <laughs> Uh, that wouldn't be unique enough. <laughs> All right. I have a sister who has a story with a name just like that. So it's actually kind of funny. So S O U N I. So, you know, it's like an original name that both of them didn't, both parents didn't quite get it. So they just made it up on the spot. <laughs> okay. Try being Bronwyn. It's, it's no fun at all. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, we've got unique members. Yes, we do. All right, let's go ahead and move along here with the meeting agenda here. And uh, can we come up to uh, Jim? Do you have anything for the treasurer side of things? Um, two quick things. Uh, we did receive in the big give, or Washington give, we received two donations, anonymous donations. One of them was $1,000. And this is a repeat person who donates often and wishes and a member of the club um, and another one i need to look him up i think he's also a member of the club uh for like uh, 50 dollars so we do have uh donations that came in through the big give or give washington and uh we are a 501c3 so any donations are tax deductible and that is all i've got 
Well, yeah, uh, thanks, uh, Jim, for that. Yeah, that's very generous. And uh, thanks to whoever that donor was for their contribution to the club. All right, next here I've got is uh, Jason, uh, KG7GLB. Anything where the activities manager? Yeah, you bet. Thanks, Phil. Um, let's see, so uh, working on the activity for next month, uh, working on the scheduling of the speaker. So more information to come. And of course, if you have any suggestions, please uh, shoot me an email at activities at mikeandkey.org. Uh, appreciate those folks who have already uh, reached out and uh, we've chatted a bit on some, some different ideas. So I appreciate that. Love hearing from you guys and what you're interested in. Uh, also working on uh, auction donations, of course, are always welcome and greatly appreciated. Uh, again, contact me at the same email. And uh, remember all auction proceeds uh, throughout the year go to our end of the year gift giveaway um to in the general uh december meeting the general club meeting so uh last year we were able to give away uh one large item and a couple of smaller items so it worked out really well and a lot of fun and i promise not to uh to to uh, uh get the same thing we've had in previous years uh a rookie mistake i guess the last time around but hey it was a cool radio so <laughs> uh that's all i have and uh, appreciate everyone's help take care guys jason you want to do a giveaway at the end of the meeting a mm. couple of glasses. Yes, if we've got the glasses, let's do that. That would be great. Hey. I'll uh, generate. So, yes, we will do that. Uh, sounds good. Uh, thanks, Jason, for putting that all together. Uh, let's see here. Next year, uh, Hal's not here for radio officers. She'll move along to any committee reports that are out there. And I know uh, Robert is there for public service. Any updates for public service? Um, no, not really, unless you're interested in an additional uh, bike MS ride down in the Salem area, <laughs> where, where the bike MS uh, people have asked the group up here to help out with uh, right at the end of July. But uh, I am, I am going to be surveying uh, the events that normally occur from July onward to see if any of them are operating. Uh, but right now, it's the same as last time uh, that I know of. It's just the the two uh, Bigfoots, the the okay. small, the shorter events in July, the 200 in August, and then the uh, the bike MS up in the Mount Vernon area in uh, September. Okay, great. Uh, so it's split up into two weekends. Is that the whole, is the one in July uh, the whole weekend? Um, yeah, it is. It's Saturday, Sunday. It, okay. it's, it's just the weekend, though. It's just the shorter events that run saturday and into sunday so um i'm i haven't checked and i haven't heard i'm guessing that since it comes late in the year we'll probably get the marathon but i don't know they might have so much lead they might need so much lead time that maybe it won't happen even with the reopening so uh we'll see how that goes but that's a ways away yeah. Okay, great. Uh, thanks, Robert, for that update. And I look forward to doing uh, Bigfoot again this year. Should be fun. Question. Go ahead. Um, do we have an update on the public service manual or um, right. PDF? Uh, no, I haven't got it produced yet. Okay. Uh, yeah, I was waiting no on how things would develop. And mm -hmm. uh, so but uh, I still do plan to turn one out here in the next uh, month or two. Great. Thanks, Robert. Yeah, great. I'm looking forward to uh, printing out another copy of that. It's always very useful. Next here we've got, uh, let's see. And I think Robert's around KF7RWA for education and training. Did you have any updates as far as classes and stuff like that go? Uh, no, I don't have any. Uh specific updates but uh can you hear me okay yeah. yes we can go ahead okay um dan stevens just uh, uh had a couple uh candidates that uh, passed uh, some youthful young men that uh, he'd been coaching individually but uh, we, do, we don't have any classes scheduled right now and uh, I know that uh, Scott has been putting on uh, online testing, and we're we're doing uh, about four tests a month 
Uh, in this last month, uh, we, we had a, a little bonus session where we had uh, six students from uh, NYU and they were from all over the world. We had uh, uh, one student in Dubai, uh, we had one in India, we had one in the UK, we had one in, uh, I think it was Romania, and, uh, and then a couple from the US. So uh, that was a most interesting session and those candidates did extremely well. Uh, but it, it was kind of interesting. We're not getting a lot of people from the Pacific Northwest. We're yeah. testing a lot of people from uh, around the country. So if you know anybody that's interested, they can go to ARRL, uh, look under uh, uh, Scott's uh, call sign there for for the uh, testing mm. and uh, si sign up for an online test to upgrade your license or if you've got people who Want to, want to start out? We'll uh, we'll test them up. That's all I've got. Back to net. Hey, Doug, yeah, yeah, great. Thanks for that, Robert. That that that, is, that sounds awesome. <laughs> Comment. Go ahead. Um, so, is being that it's coming into summertime, we usually take a break from the training. But if there yeah. is a lot of uh, people interested, I've done uh, some training classes. And it looks like our, our, our new uh, member, Siobhan, also does classes. So um, maybe we'll query and see what the interest is again. And if there's enough, uh, we might schedule some classes. But being that it's summer, a lot of times people take vacations and trips. And I see uh, Scott has his hand up. Scott. Hey, go ahead, Scott. You're muted. One more time, you're still muted. He probably has too many mute buttons. Yeah, he's got the floor switch and the- Yeah, I had there. too many mute buttons. You should hear me now. <laughs> All right, yep. uh, if you're gonna look for sessions for us, go to ham.studies slash sessions slash AG17, my call sign, and to the ARRL site and you'll find it. We have four openings for next Saturday. And one opening for Monday right now. Cool. Thanks, Scott. Be right back. All right. Uh, thanks, Scott, for that VE report. And thanks to Robert for that uh, education and training uh, report. Do we have any other committees that would like to give a report here at the meeting? Any committee chairs or committee liaisons that like to give a report to the group? Go ahead now. <laughs> Not hearing anything, so we'll go ahead and move along here to uh, old business. Is there any old business, anybody? Hey, Phil? Yes. So, sorry, I raised my hand, but uh, you probably oh. didn't see that. Oh, but yeah. For, for the membership committee, I just wanted to uh, quickly uh, congratulate our five new members, Norm, Siobhan, Ted, Paul, and Tim, for joining us. Uh, you all have uh, wonderful talents and a lot of energy and uh, great experiences, so, so we are so happy to to have you all in the club. And uh, there are two, uh, two others who uh, weren't able to make it today. Uh, and I'll follow up with them uh, for the next meeting to get voted in. And then uh, we have three um, applications. Uh, one of Clark is one of them is online here. And then the other two, those we'll, we'll consider at the next board meeting first and then uh, make progress. But congratulations again to all of you. And it's, again, it's wonderful to have you. That's it for my end. Thanks, Bradford. Yeah, thanks, Manfred, for that membership report. Uh, one last call for any committee reports uh, before how about, we move how about relay, although not a committee? Yeah, go ahead, relay. So I'll do the annual or the monthly plug for please write an article and submit. But actually, I have a, a real request this time. Um, I would be very happy to print something in there if someone would like to do kind of a survey article on getting on the air with 220 megahertz repeaters. Since we have one and it's probably underutilized, uh, let's uh, maybe it'd be good to have a little article on that and promote that amongst the membership. 
Okay, yeah, uh, thanks. Yeah, thanks, David. Yeah, the uh, the relay was a little short on content this month. So if you, have, if you guys have anything to contribute, be sure to send it in to David. We'd love to hear from you in the newsletter. Uh, okay, uh, let's see. Are there one last call for committees? Any committee reports? Mm -hmm. Not hearing anything. So we'll move on to old business. Any old business to bring up? Go ahead. Not hearing anything from that. So is there any new business? New business for the club? I may have something. Go ahead, uh, Dan. I'm not sure if it's new business or good of the order. So you can tell me. Um, I just want to do a shout out for net ops. Oh, is that now or later? Uh, it's like, uh, that'd be good. The, I think that's more good of the order. Okay, sure. I'll wait. So, uh, any, uh, any other, uh, new business to bring up to the group today? Any new business? No. Okay. Uh, go ahead, Dan, for good of the order. Oh, okay. Sure. Um, so, uh, congratulations again, Siobhan. We are looking forward to your first debut net op as a social net op, uh, coming up. Um, th is it this Saturday, this coming Saturday, I believe the 20 or is it, the, I think it's the 29th, but it's, it's at the end of this month, she's going to be doing two in a row. So, um, but I also want to do a shout out for net ops. We need more net ops. Um, and technical and special interest has also been discussing possibly getting another type of net going, uh, to help net ops get their feet wet. Simple, simple, simple. So if you'd like to be a net op, please send technical at mikeandkey.org an email and we'll get you going. It's fun and it's easy. And that's all I had. Yeah, thanks. Uh, thanks, Dan, for that. Uh, any other uh, things for the uh, good of the order? Go ahead. Well, maybe not a good of the order, but you better pencil in the technical and special interest committee because I see it's outlined as a committee on the web page. <laughs> it is and it's like I called for reports but you can go ahead now. Well, how did it fly over me? I don't know. Uh, we have uh, evening after the um, uh, the Wednesday night tech net we have an ongoing zoom meeting that you can carry on your conversations about technical issues on a Zoom meeting. And the Zoom credentials can be found on the groups.io page. It's also on the website. Uh, there is a plethora of experience in this group <clears throat> that we love to have you share your interests in uh, this technical group. Because for instance, I have a specialty in the digital modes. Uh, Phil has specialty in the digital modes. We have several people who can act as Elmers to help you mm -hmm. uh, get your ham radio experience where you want it to be. <clears throat> okay. You can contact us uh, through the website and we'll be, have lots of Elmers to reach out to you. The Wednesday night tech net has always gathered an awful mm -hmm. lot of people listening in. Oh, yeah. And, uh, picking up little tidbits of things and technical discussions that go on there. Check in with us. We'd love to hear from you. Oh, yeah. It's like, yeah, for example, our last uh, our meeting this week went, uh, our net this week went uh, until 9.15. Went for an hour and 45 minutes. Lots of questions, lots of good discussions. So. If you ever have a question or a topic to bring up, feel free to join us on Wednesdays. Yeah, that is a great, great, uh, great net, Phil. Yeah. It's like I enjoy doing it, too. It's a lot of fun. Any other uh, items to bring up for the good of the order? Go ahead. What we'll do is definitely do the random drawing for the glasses so we can uh, we wrap up with this. Like, yeah, we'll do that after we adjourn, uh, Jason. I had a question. Go ahead. Um, so could anybody email me if they need a VE or any, any of the committees need any uh, help just to email me? My email address is on qrz.com. This is Siobhan, KJ7USZ. Great to, great to, thanks, Siobhan, for that. Uh, if, if you need a VE, uh, be sure to let her know. 
Uh, any other items before the good of the for the good of the order? Okay, nice. That uh, I see that uh, Hal has uh, joined us again. Do you have anything for a radio officer? No. Okay. So with all that uh, being said here, we're going to go ahead and uh, adjourn the meeting uh, today. Uh, is there a motion to uh, adjourn the Mike and Key uh, general meeting? In 7-R-H-E, I so move. I uh, think Sam and yes, Gil. Gil like second. <laughs> all right, so Sam and Gill uh, made the motion to adjourn. Please vote yes or no. Come on, somebody vote no. No. There we go. At least one. Come on, one more, one more. There we go. <laughs> Five, four. Well, the no's are still in the following. Oh. All right, we had 35 that said yes and five that said no. So for those five, stay tuned. You can stick around and still continue to rag chew. <laughs> All right, so the uh, Mike and Key uh, general meeting for May 21, uh, 2021 is adjourned at 11.45 a.m. Uh, good to see you all in the meeting. S stay stay on. on. We'll do the uh, random, random number and we'll draw for a couple glasses. Go ahead, Jason. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and share up my screen. We're going to uh, so I'll generate uh, two numbers, and uh, Steve uh, can take a look on the line on the spreadsheet for the 48 folks, new members and existing members who joined us today. Uh, so here we've got one to 48. Generate. So Steve, who We're is not saying? We're not saying that. You're not. We're seeing your notes. Oh, oh, hold on. Watch no good. Try that again. I think I'm new at this. Screen one. Oh, I see what it did. Changed my screen numbers on me. Now can you see the website? Yeah, now we can see a random number. <laughs> all right. So, uh, all right. So I'm going to generate the number. Oh, look at that. Mighty Ooh, number one. Well, Ooh. <laughs> well uh, just by how it comes out, it comes out as Toku. Toku. Yeah. All right. Toku, congratulations. And glass number two, number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Now serving number nine. Number nine. And mm -hmm. Mr. Kane. Oh, All right. Kane. Tim Kane. Okay. Tim Kane. So just a heads up. Um, we, we still don't have the glasses, but as soon as I pick them up later this week, hopefully they arrive later this week. Um, I will work on getting those two glasses out to our lucky winners for the month of May. Yes, and congratulations to our winners. We'll be doing these uh, two glasses, like you mentioned, uh, two glasses at the end of every meeting. Well, thank you, everyone. All righty, I'm going to stop the recording. <laughs>